Hey everybody, how's it going? So just to be clear, today's video is not investment advice. I would just like to talk about something that I found particularly funny this morning that showed up in the news. So there is a deli in New Jersey. It looks like it has a revenue of somewhere around $30,000 for the year, and it has also lost money. And in spite of that, it appears to have a market cap right now on the OTC markets of $91.3 million. That is after after it was featured in the news with all of its financials. Further depressing me that the fact that my right to repair fundraiser has really has reached about $495,000. Because again, like, oh man, it just kind of, it kind of hits home. So let's, let's just read it to this company because this is kind of funny. It says, hedge fund legend David Einhorn presented his choice for the new icon of irrational exuberance, Hometown International Inc. If you haven't heard of the company, that's probably because it operates a single store, your hometown deli in rural New Jersey. Your hometown deli is a delicatessen concept that will focus on providing high quality food products not available in local supermarkets or takeout restaurants, the company said in its latest annual report. In Greenlight Capital's most recent investor letter, Einhorn points out that the stock reached a market capitalization of $113 million. The shares gained 200% in the past year. The deli rang up less than 14000 in sales in 2020. Someone pointed us to Hometown International, which owns a single deli in rural New Jersey. The deli had $21,772 in sales in 2019 and only $13,976 in 2020, as it was closed due to COVID from March to September. h one reached a market cap of $113 million on February 8th. The largest shareholder is also the CEO, CFO, a treasurer and a director who also happens to be the wrestling coach of the high school next door to the deli. The pastrami must be amazing. Small investors who get sucked into these situations are likely to be harmed eventually, yet the regulators who are supposed to be protecting investors appear to be neither present nor curious. From a traditional perspective, the market is fractured and possibly in the process of breaking completely. Oh my God. When you look at the ownership here, someone tweeted, 77% of the shares are owned by firms in Macau, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, and Hong Kong. Seems legit. A green light brought attention to the stock as part of a broader discussion in the letter about the current state of regulation in U.S. financial markets, but for the most part, there is no cop on the beat, Greenlight's letter said. It's as if there's no financial fraud prosecutors, companies, and managements uh, that are emboldened enough to engage in malfeasance have little to fear. A call for comment placed to the phone number list that on Hometown International's annual report wasn't answered. I gotta be honest, they gotta be doing something right. So a news article came out that this is a single deli that sold over the past two years less than $40,000 of product. A single deli was worth $113 million. And after this became front page news in a major news outlet, they're still worth $91.3 million. So I mean, again, when people say that I don't particularly understand how to run a business, I will completely cop to, to the fact that I probably don't understand how to run a business and I likely never will. One of the things that my friend Jake and I, who used to work in the studio business together, were always amazed at is how you would have these people who were complete coke fiends would show up smelly, uh, completely un uh, like unkept entirely, and they would and they would just be able to talk people into giving them insane amounts of money. And it always used to drive us nuts as people that would just do our job. You know, we would show up, we would do, we would provide the services and the products that we advertised at the price we claimed to provide it, and we would be you know. Uh, circling the bottom, and whereas you would just have people that were complete and utter bullshit artists that were obviously bullshit artists that were just so good at talking people into giving them money. And this is just, it's just kind of interesting how this stuff continues to happen, whether it's Adam Newman at WeWork or whoever started this deli. Because this guy's in, you know, this this is up there with Adam Newman, in my opinion. Uh, if, if you check out the the comments on Yahoo, it is, it's just kind of hysterical. So solid reopening play once people go back to dieting out. Uh, are you, someone says you can't be serious because he thinks was real. After media exposure, I would be surprised if this stock moons. Shifting my entire net worth into this, kids will thank me in 20 years. Uh, totally not a money laundering scheme. Potential SPAC. Absolutely, it's a clean shell. Yeah, someone says, the question is not why it is down 32%. The real question is how a very tiny unprofitable sandwich shop ever got to be worth more than 100 million. Well done, SEC, says Angel. Yelp review just went from 4.3 to 4.45. Massive pop. Bye now. I, on one hand, I think it's horrible that stuff like this happens. On the other hand, a part of me is kind of jealous and like wishes that I had even 1% of the skill that the people who can do this kind of stuff have. Because imagine if you were able to harness this for good. Like imagine if you were able to harness these types, you know, that type of salesmanship to, to do well. 
You know, and there's this one book, uh, Start With No by Jim Camp, that kind of got me to recognize that there is an upside to being a good salesman. Being a good salesman doesn't necessarily mean that you have to screw people. You can use it for good. You can use uh, it to advocate for good deals that are beneficial to both parties, to advocate for yourself, to ensure that, you're, that uh, your time is valued, your causes are valued. You know, again, or you can use it for something like this. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This, this just kind of brought a, a smile to my day. It's kind of funny. See you all in the next video, and uh, bye now. Also, as always, Blackberry just clawed into me. <laughs> this thing scares the crap out of her.